Lewis, what, what were we just listening to there? What was that? That's a brand new composition by Lewis Cade and the Late Show Band entitled One Too Many Pieces. I love it. Oh, it's thanks, beautiful. Man. Powerful. As powerful. Thanks, man. Uh, coming up in just a few moments, uh, we have a guest. A quick, quick quiz here. Yeah. Who is, uh, who, what guest have I had more than any other? Anyone, anyone here want to guess? What guest have I had more than any other? Oliver. What? Oliver. Wow. Yes, it's yeah. John Oliver. That's exactly right. 18 times. My guest this evening is coming in, number two with a bullet, Bernie Sanders will be here in just one moment. <laughs> Number three is uh, John Dickerson, CBS News. Number four, Neil deGrasse Tyson. That's just, just for, those, <laughs> for those of you keeping score at home. Okay, hold on a second. Mm -hmm. That's not coffee. What is this? <laughs> Please tell me they're a sponsor. Are they a... Uh... Nope, we're doing it for free. Folks, I love science. It's how we made the groundbreaking discovery that birds and bees are super horny for each other. And I'd like to bring you all the latest science news in my Sciencey Science segment. The sound of science. Hello, science, my old friend. First up, a little delayed. A little delayed. You got that finger on there. First up, climate researchers say that the environment of the desert planet in Dune is plausible according to science. It's upsetting to know that in the future, our entire planet could be turned into a desert hellscape. But what is truly terrifying is knowing that even 10,000 years in the future, there will still be bagpipes. <laughs> researchers used computer modeling and found that the climate on Arrakis is conceivable but, but the noted that the book describes polar ice caps receding in the summer heat, but it would be far too hot at the poles during the summer for ice caps to exist at all. Of course, the source of all that heat, Chalamet's cheekbones. <laughs> Next up, deep sea science news from Chile, home of... You can't even get this in the United States, is my understanding, right? So we're not actually selling any beer right now. Okay. <laughs> Chilean researchers just announced the stunning discovery of the world's newest walking fish, a bright red creature of the deep. Ooh, cool. Let's take a look at the little fella. Ah. <laughs> Looks like a trout banged a Muppet. <laughs> you can see the fish's discovery play out in the new documentary, What the is Nemo? Next up, according to a new study, skipping your dog's walk is a bigger deal than you think. Those findings from the renowned scientist, Dr. Scruffles T. Belly Rub. <laughs> you may remember him from his other landmark study. There's a squirrel outside the window and someone needs to kill it. <laughs> Evidently, you can't just open the back door and let them trot around out there. As scientists warned, the typical yard just doesn't offer enough stimulation and only hanging out in the backyard is like reading the same book again and again. Oh, so now you're telling me I shouldn't be forcing my dog Benny to reread The Lord of the Rings? <laughs> Who prophesied that the Witch King of Angmar could not be killed by the hand of man? Glorfindel, read it again. <sighs> it won't even touch the Silmarillion. Next up, new research shows that men and women who wore heels the most became better more efficient walkers. And now scientists are asking, could wearing high heels be good for you? Well, <laughs> I certainly uh, hope so. <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> Next up. A new study has revealed potential health risks associated with tattoos because additives to tattoo inks have possible side effects, including flatulence, nausea, stomach cramps, and diarrhea. 
which is bound to have a big impact on someone like Harry Styles. I mean, <laughs> just look at this video. <laughs> Still sexy. Yeah. <laughs> Next up, according to, and get this, a new study, just two cans of soda per week is too much, and drinking just two 12-ounce cans of pop per week can effectively erase the heart health gains made during exercise. But you know what will never erase your heart health gains? <laughs> Back with Bernie Sanders. <laughs>